since we're still uh, getting to know each other and uh, because we might have guests over the course of the semester drop in and drop out, always a good idea just so we can be learning everybody's names. Some of us know each other, others of us don't know each other. So you guys all know me, I'm Dr. Anderson. I'm Casey Lysel. All right, cool. Um, so today we're going to have mostly a discussion. Today's really going to be a, um, a sort of feedback uh, discussion. You guys have all taken our, our draft poll. So you all have a sense for uh, what it's like and, and this and that. Um, the goal of, or the reason we're doing this is, is again, this class is an interdisciplinary appro approach to using this technology. And so we want to not just learn how to fly these things, we also want to know how they're perceived and how we can um, help foster the responsible use of this technology and all that exciting stuff. <clears throat> so the main question we have to talk about today, and, over, and indeed over the course of us doing this module about uh, polling and all that stuff, hey, Derek, um, is, uh, so there's some handouts. You might want to just, if you didn't grab one, there should be a couple extra floating around. Did everybody get one? We're okay with Printing run? It's all good? All right. Uh, so, so the main question we have here is how, are, how is this technology seen? Right? We have this attitude towards this stuff. I think we all see the potential uh, value of this stuff. But we're not the general public necessarily. So let me ask you guys, where do you think people are getting their, their impressions about um, this technology? From the news, right? Good, yeah. Anywhere else? From their kids. From their kids, right? From the people playing with all the stuff they got at Christmas. Okay, good. Excellent. Word of mouth. Any other any other places you think are, are, are shaping people's opinions about social media? Definitely, right? There's a lot of, this is almost the perfect sort of retweetable thing. Any other thoughts? So I think those are all right. YouTube appears to be very powerful in this context. A lot, because so many of these platforms can have video and or they, it's a, it's a very dramatic thing. It's a small thing that you could film with your camera. It's not a big 747, so it's a small thing. And uh, they, they make noise, right? They kind of make noise and they sometimes can crash and they have blinky lights. So there's sort of a lot of eye candy stuff there. And, and as a consequence, a lot of the do dude kind of videos um, really seem to have gotten a lot of purchase. And that seems to be influence or affecting how people think of this and how people think of the operators of this technology. So if we were to, for example, just uh, go to Go to here, let's say, go to YouTube and say something like drone, right? So I bought a drone. Look, this dude bought a drone. And then there's top five innovations and the most amazing drones, right? And there's the R2-D2 flying and is there some zombies here, right? So, so there's, what do, we, what do we get in terms of results? So we got 7,450,000 videos that reference drone. Now clearly that's, some of that's gonna be about male bees and beehives and stuff, but, but uh, it's a lot of stuff, right? Um, not a lot of academics up there. Not a lot of, uh, at least in the top hits, not a lot from the FAA or you know, well-reasoned uh, discussions on a panel at a conference or something like that, right? It, it's all of this kind of stuff, as you guys know. What would you guys like to know? So we have, we have this instrument that we started developing last year we're going to continue it, and 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 this is a way for us to get a sense of what the general public thinks about this technology, the use of this technology, the operators of this technology, whatever. So let me ask you guys: What would you guys like to, you know, a month from now, after we're done with this exercise, what would you like to have insight into that you don't uh, have insight now, or you don't have a perfect insight into now? So, 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 how about, how about how much do they know? 
so you mean competency? Are people competent with, okay. So, so uh, uh, maybe we call that uh, safe operation or something? Yeah, so let's look, let's look at, uh, that reminds me of one video, let's see. Marshall again, okay. we got something So for example, this is what you guys, guys are talking today. about, I think. This, my friends, is a prototype quad rotor. Now, it may look like something you've seen before, but believe me, the technology in this baby isn't going to be out there for at least another decade. We're talking about some pretty sophisticated warfare, and the soldiers are going to need technology like this to get above the combat, around their enemies, and get into tights. Also, Charlene is capable of flying up to 30 miles per hour at altitudes of a quarter mile high. Oh, and it only takes one professional Russian and this fancy tablet to kill you. Looks like we've got some lost and confused visitors over there. Let's take a closer look. Let's take them out. And it goes on. And it goes on like that. So, so just to be clear, that's all fake, right? That's not real. Um, but uh, I bet you there's a decent chunk of that 30 million people that watch that that, thinks that, that, that think that this is a real video, right? This is this designed to fool people. The, the, the guy at the end doesn't go, ha, 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 just kidding, right? Some Saturday Night Live skit. Um, there's all kinds of stuff like that. Can, can you put a gun on one of these things and do something horrible? Of course. But that's not, you know, <laughs> that's not real. I'll just say that. The general public really doesn't have a good sense of what's going on. And, and in this sense, popular culture, movies, all that kind of stuff, play a huge role because this is an unknown thing. And one, because it's an unknown. And two, because every, every few months, some, some cool new innovation comes out. So, it, so the rate of the technology growing, expanding, and modifying is going crazy. That's right. That's right. So if we, you're telling me that that was fake. That's right. That's right. And so and, and so there's a lot. So so there, there's there's a there is for, I mean we could, I could show videos all day and I'll post some of these. But for example, there was a really um, uh, a incredibly viral one that was put together by some Canadian graduate students at a this was about a year or so ago, year year and a half ago. Uh, that were um, from a, a arts college, and they made a made a video like they were in a park. They weren't they weren't like in the park. They were in a park, and they were starting a quadcopter. And this this hawk comes down and boom attacks the the helicopter, and and does some silly stuff, and then grabs a kid and does a bunch of stuff. And I mean they did it very very well. They're they're fantastic artists. That you, you know it looked really realistic shadows and and out of focus and all that kind of jazz. So, um, so it's understandable that people would think that this, you know, that, that, that was a pretty good job. Right. There was some issues there, but it was, generally speaking, that most folks glancing at that, especially if you're on your little tablet, or especially if you're on your mobile phone, and you're watching that video. It's wow, that looks, that looks pretty good. So, yeah. So deception is 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 is, is uh, uh, deception is part of the viral marketing for a lot of these folks, right? Okay. Tim. Ah, uh, the age-old, right, the age-old, yes, yes, th that's an excellent question, which, which, do people actually understand the true risks, um, and <laughs> the answer is no, they never do, right, the, the legal folks are very worried about us flying drones, it's very dangerous, they have no problem with you guys driving onto campus in your private car, which is a million times more dangerous, um, so yes, the, the rationality or irrationality of risk perception is, a, is an age old thing, but it's, but it's true. But I mean, this, this is one of those high profile things. So it's like shark attacks or something like that. It's worth talking about uh, um, risks. What else? So, so far we have, uh, what, what does the general public know? Do they know about policies and laws? Do they know about safe operation? Uh, where the technology is now versus maybe where it might be going in the future. Uh, how much do they know about the, the, the law related to this stuff or, or what makes something illegal? I guess that's related to policies and laws. Um, do they know some of the be potential benefits of this technology? Um, they probably know about having fun, but we can still 
look at that. Uh, limitations of stuff, risks, anything else. But most of the stuff, it'll be boiled down to the proportion of folks that, you know, voted for A, B, or C kind of thing. So why don't we have a, have a take 10 minutes and you guys look over that. And things that, you're, that are particularly interesting to you or particularly of note, why don't you star or make a note on so we can come back